Hi, it's Jameis Craftastic Yarns Podcast. Today is Wednesday, April the 10th, day 10. Okay, folks, first I'm going to show you a cute little jar. Um, we had a cooking class the other day, Monday afternoon, and in that cooking class, we had something called blueberry pancake overnight oats and it was uh, a chance to try something new um, I have done the overnight oats in the past and they were okay you know the one with the yogurt eh, it was okay now this one I really liked um, basically we weren't making a full serving because normally you would use an 8 ounce canning jar but she brought the smaller jars for samples so we took half a serving um, but you it makes an 8 ounce serving and what you do is you take half a cup of oats doesn't matter what kind as long as it's not instant it can be steel cut it can be old fashioned it can be anything in between just as long as they're not instant oats and then you take half a cup of milk we didn't use milk um, she had brought something new for us to try it was a new product in the store which was oat milk and uh, she did give us a little taste of it she poured it into a cup looked a little tannish we were all kind of like, don't know about that, but we all were brave. We took a sip, and then we started laughing because we finished drinking it. It actually tasted like the milk at the end of the bowl of cereal. It just tasted like that. And then uh, she had put in there one and a half teaspoons of chia seeds. You don't have to. Um, but do put the chia seeds in. Um, and then a fourth of a cup blueberries dried, frozen, or fresh. She had some dried, so, you know, we have that. And then you put one tablespoon of pure maple syrup. No log cabin. No Aunt Jemima. Real maple syrup. You put it all in there, you mix it up, you let it sit in the refrigerator for at least six hours overnight, or you can even make it up a week at a time, ahead of time. Well, I forgot about it Tuesday morning, so I had it this morning. And um, my first thought was, didn't taste like a pancake to me. However, it was very delicious. It was like eating pudding, but you had a little bit of the crunch with the chia seeds because you had just a little snap um, from the base of the chia seed. It was delicious. It was worth a try. Um, they have these classes every month. They do it during the uh, harvest months. They start in the spring and it goes through fall, and they just bring different... Um, things for us to try and usually we cook um, our class is a smaller class so generally we'll help her prepare but she generally prepares it for us but this was one of those you can do by yourself and fix it it's along the same lines of taking a salad and um, using either the quart jars or you know if you just want a small salad put your dressing down on the bottom of it put your tomatoes and vegetables and things put your lettuce on top seal it put it in the refrigerator you can make a week's worth up ahead of time then when you're ready to eat it you can either shake it up or you can just turn it upside down empty it onto your plate and you've got your salad the lettuce stays nice and fresh and crispy because the salad dressing is on the bottom you know those are just some little things that we did um, today was our normal crochet and knit day. I had two other ladies that came and asked me to make baby sweaters. 
no, not two, one other lady. And basically, she just wants me to finish the baby sweater that she started. Um, I think she said she had the back and the sleeves, but the front needs to be finished and then put together. And she was getting frustrated with it, so I will do that for her. Um, that's about it. I haven't done anything else other than, you know, my usual on Wednesday exercise, go to the laundromat. I hate going to the laundromat. And that was about it. And Gypsy Rose, normally this is the only floss that I do. However, tomorrow I am going to line dancing. I will have somebody film me to film me while I am doing the floss for you. You'll get to see all this lovely jiggle. Um, I realized yesterday that I had forgotten the uh, wad in tarnation. So we're going to do a little bit of wad in tarnation today. But I started on square number six of the 2019 stash busting cowl that uh, the Unraveled Mitten has. And I just decided to use two different scraps. Um, this is Orchid, and this is Walmart's brand of, I think it's just called Purple. Purple. Um, so, I'm using those two together. It's going along. Let's go into what in tarnation. And no, this isn't all what in tarnation. There's a couple of patterns in here. I just picked it all up at once. What in tarnation? Grapes on Mars. Georgia winemakers are aiming high. They're very proud of their ancient winemaking tradition, claiming to have been the first nation to make wine. You know, Georgia, not Georgia the state. Now it wants to be the first to grow grapes on Mars. Nestling between the Great Caucasus Mountains and the Black Sea, Georgia has a mild climate that is perfect for vineyards and has a, developed a thriving wine tourism. So now they're hoping to go to Mars. NASA had made a public call to contribute ideas for sustained human presence on the red planet. A group of Georgia researchers and entrepreneurs got together to propel the country's winemaking onto an interplanetary level. Um, since archaeologists found traces of wine residue in ancient clay vessels, the country has boasted it has been making wine for 8,000 years. Did you know that? 8,000 years. That's a long time. So they're hoping to have a manned mission within the next 25 years. And of course, Elon Musk is involved. So they're working on the project. Um, I do know someone who works with NASA and headed up the first NASA uh, trip unmanned and they got all the information and um, so the engineers and the scientists are working on it now um, they think that Mars soil would be a fantastic wine growing medium so I guess their biggest problem is going to be water who knows This story is one made of science fiction. Brit scientists unearthed 430 million year old sea monster. The fossilized remains of a 430 million year old sea monster have been unearthed in Herefordshire. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't, I don't speak Old English very well. The weird creature has been named Solacina Cthulhu 
for Jathula or Keula, depending on what people. There's a large argument about the name of this um, creator that H.P. Lovecraft's infamous beast, how you pronounce that, but it has flailing tentacles. The exceptionally preserved remains, which were dug up by British paleontologists, it has quickly been identified as a distant ancestor of the sea pig, sea pig, and said to be the ugliest animal to lurk beneath the waves. It's only about an inch wide, an inch wide. The presence of the number of long tentacles would have made it to appear ter terrifying to other small marine life. The fossilized creature had 45 tentacles branching out from a central body covered in armor plates. So yes, now it is actually a, a species of the sea cucumber. So now we have a real live sea monster. Have you guys noticed that your Walmarts are renovating? That they're putting in new flooring? Even though they may have done new flooring just a couple of years ago. Here's why the new flooring is going in. Walmart upends the minimum wage debate by adding a fleet of robots. In a blow to the minimum wage campaign targeting Walmart, the Superstore company says they will expand their fleet of robots at their stores. Walmart were at, will add 4,000 robots to replace human workers doing mundane work at its stores and facilities. They made the announcement in a blog post explaining their plans for automated assistance. Smart assistants have long had huge potential to make busy stores run more smoothly. This pioneering new technology is meant to minimize the time an associate spends on the more mundane and repetitive tasks like cleaning floors, checking inventory on a shelf gives the associates more of an opportunity to do what they're uniquely qualified for, serve customers face-to-face -face on the sales floor. I don't know about your Walmart, but my sales floor people normally congregate and are chit-chatting, and they're nowhere to be found when you need assistance. So maybe the robots will be able to assist us better. The post says that they will order 1,500 floor cleaning robots, 300 self-scanners, 1,200 truck unloaders, and 900 pickup towers for online orders. And I don't know if your Walmart has it or not. Ours just put one in. Um, the State College store already has it. It's like this nice little area that has wooden flooring and has these big orange columns. Someone else told me that it's just tubes, a shuttle tube that will shoot your item into that box when you come in to pick it up after you've ordered it online. Apparently it's not really one of those chutes that will just conveyor belt. It'll be a robot that brings it to you. So they've announced they're raising their minimum wages in 2018 and then immediately followed with layoffs to their workforce. Thank you, Walmart. This next story, I'm not really going to read it. I just thought it was interesting. It was from the New York Post and it is the fact that Hollywood legend Andre, Audrey Hepburn, 
Hepburn was a World War II resistance spy. And basically, it's a story about someone who wrote a book about Audrey Hepburn. And um, they said the biggest surprise to many will be Hepburn's work with the Dutch resistance against Nazi occupation. She was only 10 years old when World War II broke out. Um, her parents were pro-fascist. That was kind of interesting to learn. They did divorce, but it was interesting. Um, and basically it started because she witnessed um, people being shuttled onto a bus. So, um, that's, it's an interesting story. It's in the New York Post today. So you can go over there and read that story. This one I'm saving for tomorrow. This one comes from Llama Mama Kayla, and I saw it just about the time she sent it to me. It's one of the funniest I've heard in a long time. Woman calls 911 about burglar in bathroom. Washington County, Oregon. An Oregon woman called authorities to report a burglar in her bathroom. Armed deputies find that the suspect happens to be a Roomba robotic vacuum cleaner. The Washington County Sheriff's Office said in a Tuesday social media post, deputies received a call Monday afternoon about 1.48 p.m. saying there was someone in her bathroom. She told police she could see shadows under the bathroom door. In just one minute, that's amazing time, multiple deputies responded to the house and surrounded it. Deputies even requested K-9 come to the scene to assist them. After several demands to come out of the bathroom, the suspect never came out. With guns drawn, deputies opened the door to find the suspect was an automated robot vacuum. A deputy cleared the call stating, as we entered the home, we could hear rustling in the bathroom. We made several announcements and the rustling became more frequent. We breached the bathroom door and encountered a very thorough vacuuming job being done by a Roomba robotic vacuum cleaner. So do you know where your Roomba is? It might be in your bathroom, making you think there's burglars. I find that funny. My son's dog hates the Roomba. Um, when my son sets the Roomba to go off because my son's dog is a Shih Tzu, Yorkie mix, sheds a lot. And he said, you wouldn't believe how much hair this thing picks up. But it starts off, Dusty starts after it, barking at it, nipping at it, growling at it. It's quite funny to see. So, beware the Roomba. Robots are coming. Um, that's it for today. Tomorrow there will be a dance session for Gypsy. And maybe some more finished objects. I don't know. I'm going to leave that, put the recipe down below for that blueberry pancake overnight oats. <laughs> Hope some of you tried. It was delicious. And you can substitute anything you want. You know, strawberry, bananas, um, tropical with shredded coconut, diced pan pineapple, and use coconut milk. Top of shredded coconut and macadamia nuts, peanut butter, um, and a little bit of cocoa powder. Top of a little bit of mini chocolate chips. Lots of ways you can fix it. Um, my friend and I are going to try 
um, apple cinnamon. So, yeah, give it a shot. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.